Okay, let's have a look at inequality signs. And first of all, we'll look at what an equality sign is. Equality is when you have, say, 3 is equal to 2 plus 1. This quantity is the same as this quantity. Now, this is also called an equation. So this is an equation. An inequality is like an in equation. For example, 3, if you had 3 and 2, okay? This number is more than this number. Where do they get the inequality triangle uh, signs from? Well, an equal sign looks like that, okay? Two lines parallel, just like that, two lines parallel, okay? If you take those two lines and tilt them like this, what you get is a point and a gap. Which is bigger, a gap or a point? Well, a gap is bigger, isn't it? And the point is smaller. So we can have it like this, or we can have it like this. And the point always goes beside the small number. The gap goes beside the larger number, because the gap is larger than a point, right? So it's like we take the equal sign, and we tilt this um, this way, and tilt this one this way, so we get this. 3 is greater than 2. The gap is beside the bigger number. The point is beside the smaller number. So if we had 4 and 10, we would take the equal sign, and we would take the equal sign like that, and we would tilt them so that the point is beside the small number, the gap is beside the big number. So point beside the small number, gap beside the big number, and that's, that's the reason. Okay? Uh, 4, now it says obviously 4 is less than 10. And for fun, we can read it also in this direction. So put your pen here and read it from right to left. 10 is greater than 4, or 10 is bigger than 4, right? So what about um, negative 4, and over here we have, say, negative 8. How should we put an inequality sign? Which number is bigger? Well, would you rather have negative four dollars or negative eight dollars? Yeah. You'd rather be in debt by four, right? So this is actually greater than this. This is lesser. If you think about a number line, here's zero, here's negative four, here's negative eight. Negative four is to the right of this number, isn't it, on a number line? So this is greater. So negative four is greater than negative eight, right? So you do one now. If you had negative 9 and negative 2, how would the inequality sign go? So put an inequality sign here. Which is lesser? Negative 9 is lesser, isn't it? You'd rather ha be in debt by $2 than be in debt by 9. So negative 9 is less than negative 2. And read in this direction, for fun, negative 2 is greater than negative 9. Okay? You might also see something like this. Absolute value of negative 4. And then over here we might have negative 3 all squared. Okay? And you might see, you might have to put an inequality sign in, in between them. So first of all we calculate each value. Absolute value of negative 4 gives us positive 4. And we've studied that. Negative 4 is 4 units away from 0. Negative 3 all squared is negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times negative, positive, positive 9. So this is 4, this is 9, and 4 is less than 9. So we put the inequality sign like that. Okay, what if we had 1 third in parentheses squared and negative 1 third in parentheses squared? Now, how would you put your inequality sign? First calculate the left and right quantities. One third squared is one third multiplied by one third. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the tops, one times one is one, then we multiply the bottoms. Three times three is nine, okay? Multiply these now. Negative one third times negative one third. 
Negative times negative, positive. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Hmm. So this is a ninth, and this is also 1 ninth. So how do we put the inequality sign? Do we put it um, in this direction or like that? Which way? Well, the answer is we don't use either of those. Because this quantity is equal to this, so we put an equal sign. This is the same as this. Okay?